Hey everybody, this is Funar from MultiplayerGamers.com. Today we're playing a little bit of DayZ, and as the screen shows in front of us here, uh, this is an early access game. It's currently available on Steam for $30. It is um, uh, alpha quality, probably pre-alpha is probably where I would put it, uh, but still still very playable. Um, you'll, you'll see uh, a lot of uh, interesting forum posts about this game. Um, this is, uh, originally came as a mod um, for the Arma 2 series, um, but this is a standalone game. It's actually based on the Arma 3 engine, and, uh, you know, as the disclaimer says here again, you know, this is early access. And as you can see here, I got a character here. Um, I've, I've played a little bit prior to this video, uh, probably maybe all of maybe 45 minutes, so my guy doesn't have a whole lot. Um, the whole premise behind the game is survival in a po post-apocalyptic world. <coughs> Seems like every game today is a post-apocalyptic or uh, some. Well, I cannot say that word. Anyway, um, so we're gonna go ahead and click the "I understand" link here, and we're gonna play a little bit. No idea what server we're gonna end up on. Yeah, this kind of stuff happens often, too. Um, various textures and objects and so forth, they're just not, not in the game yet. And from the sounds of it, it is raining. And... And I'm in the dark again. That's just great. Seems like every time I play, it is nighttime. So the last time I uh, I signed off, I had just found um, this little town here. And I was looking for supplies. You, uh, you start out with nothing in this game. Um, you basically have uh, whatever clothes you have on your back. Um, you have no food, you have no water, and uh, you have to find all that stuff. Which is uh, kind of where I'm at now. I don't have um, a whole lot of uh, stuff right now. As you can see, I have a flashlight. Um, a motorcycle helmet, you know, shoes. I did find a scope. I don't have a weapon of any kind yet. Um, or a backpack or water or anything. And as you can see from my list here, my guy is not only hungry, but he's thirsty. Um, which means I need to find a source of water pretty quickly here. Or it's... It's not going to be good for me. And I just heard a zombie. And I have no weapons, so we're going to run away from this guy. <clears throat> I do have a bit of a cold, too, so I apologize for that. My voice is not uh, what it should be. Do my best not to cough into the mic. Kind of sounds like this guy is gonna chase me for the long haul, which could be bad. This may uh, end up being a very, very short video if he catches up to me. So it looks like we're near an orchard, which. Uh, could mean food. And again, I apologize for the brightness of the video. It's, um, it seems to be perpetually night every time I play this. And there's another zombie. seem to have found an area 
That is filled with zombies. That's just awesome. The question is, are they chasing me? Eventually they do give up, but I've, I've run away <clears throat> a few times. And uh, I would stop and look for food and whatnot, and then all of a sudden the guy that was chasing me would be back again. Which is probably what's going to end up happening in this situation. Um, I don't want to run for too long, given that uh, my guy is not only hungry, uh, but he's thirsty as well. So we are, what, three kilometers from the next town? I think I can slow down. I don't see him behind me anymore. But in, uh, in this situation, water would be really, really good to find. Now, I, I am near the ocean, but just as with real life, you can't, uh, or you don't want to drink out of the ocean because of the salt content, just dehydrate you. And uh, the game definitely uh, follows that as well. half tempted to walk over to this town over here. Or the, there's a building straight ahead. Let's see what we can find. There's got to be some water or food or something. Now another thing about this game too is that um, the you're, you get tired um, when you walk up steep hills and your guy and you slow down and so forth too, so they, they've actually spent quite a bit of time on the terrain negotiation and and the uh, you know and the stamina system they have here. It can get a little bit annoying, but um, honestly, it's 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 pretty realistic in that. So we have a looks like a barn up here. check the barn out. Now the problem with running around at night too is that it, there are a lot of the zombies are definitely out at night and it is pretty hard to see them sometimes. Pretty much up until the point when you're right on top of them. And I do have a flashlight um, but batteries, let's see there's no way to get into this barn. Um, batteries are a thing so you definitely don't want to well, there's a couple reasons you don't want to use your flashlight a lot. You don't, you don't want to use it um, because, number one, it'll attract zombies um, at night, and they'll run right to you when you have your flashlight on. The other um, the other uh, problem with this, again, you have batteries, and you drain your battery, and, um, you know, your flashlight's over. And as you can see, with as dark as it is, you know, when you go into some of these these structures, um, you'd need a flashlight to uh, find stuff. <clears throat> so this looks a little promising up here. We have a few structures up ahead. I gotta find some water pretty quickly here. Even a uh, even a pump would be great. Um, there are uh, there are like water uh, pumps in certain areas of the uh, of the terrain. I haven't found one yet. Um, but uh, that'll be something I'm looking for. So there's, there's two, I guess, issues you could say here. Um, you want to go to towns to find stuff, and but, 
the problem with towns, especially, you know, what, what might have been heavy populated ones, um, is that they're heavy populated. And to go along with that, um, there could be more uh, zombies. So there's nothing in this place. <clears throat> okay, this is a pretty, looking like a pretty big town. Or, or is this a, this might be a, is this like an industrial area? Again, the problem with industrial areas is that it seems like there are more zombies in them. The, uh, I will say the ambience, the ambient sound um, in the game uh, definitely has a freak out value to it. Oh, I see something on the ground up ahead. What is that? Oh, it's shoes. Don't really need shoes right now. Looks like more shoes. Not much of anything else. Something in the corner over here? No. Nope. Oops. Sort of looks like somebody's been through here too, because um, tip. Typically, uh, areas that have uh, the doors already open, it usually means someone's been there. Not always, but <clears throat> at least in my experience, it seems like there's already been people there. We're going to keep on walking. There's probably more stuff back there, but <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like a um, much larger residential area up here, which could be good, could be bad. Could be bad in the sense that there could be a ton of zombies up here. Could be good in the sense that there might be um, food and, and water. Yeah, that's not a good sound. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. That's not good. He's right behind me, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, and he's a runner, too. have to fight this one. I have not had any luck at all on fighting the zombies, but now oh, we got two of them. Oh, he cut me. I'm in trouble. Big trouble. This is, uh... Ooh. 
Oh, shit. Oh, clothes are damp with blood. That means I am getting my butt kicked. And the zombie disappeared. Alright, so... I'm in trouble. Um... <clears throat> I'm in a lot of trouble here. I am bleeding, and I have no bandages or anything. This may very well be the end. Between being thirsty and hungry and now bleeding. And with no um, with nobody else around me to uh, help with the situation. Um, if I do tend happen to uh, if I do happen to uh, become unconscious, um, you know, it'll, it'll basically be over. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go in here and hope that there's something in here that we can use. Bandages would be awesome, or just any kind of cloth. What's that? See what we have here. Russian hat, badly damaged. Yeah. That doesn't help us. Got some shelves in here. They're all empty, of course. Everything is now black and white. that's it um, at this point you really only have a couple of options if you if, if I did have uh, Conan or somebody else with me um, they could try to revive me uh, but given that I am solo um, it looks like we'll be starting over in the uh, next episode here um, you know that th this is Daisy it is pre-alpha um, this is if you make uh, not so smart choices like uh, like I did <laughs> Um, should not have fought the zombies. I should have ran away. Um, you know, j uh, just like if uh, something like this were to happen in real life, not that zombies actually exist or anything, but, um, you know, you don't put yourself into a fight that uh, you're going to lose. And, uh, uh, you know, that, that's what can happen. So at this point, in the way the game works is my character is literally laying on the ground um, where, I, where I just was. And, um, again, one of two choices. Either a friend comes by and takes care of you or... That's pretty much it. You uh, you start a new character, um, and if you do start a new character, you can always go back and find your body and, and, and take your items that you may have collected. You know, but again, all I had was a scope, but no rifle. I had uh, the clothes that I started with and a uh, motorcycle helmet, so that was it. Um, so I, you know, starting over in this case is not that big of a deal. Um, I will start over. I'll play again, and uh, you know, we'll try it again. So uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, if you like what you see, click on that uh, like button. Um, also subscribe to the channel. Uh, that'll help us out a lot. And 
we, uh, we're a relatively new channel, but we're, we're, we'll be putting more and more videos up. Um, also, take a visit over to MultiplayerGamers.com for news, reviews, discussion, and good old-fashioned smack-talking. Again, this is Funar from Multiplayer Gamers, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Thanks.